Hey everyone, I'm Alex Lee with HipNewJersey.com and today I'm joined by my dear friends and the co-founder of the John Taylor Babbitt Foundation, Mrs. Joanne Babbitt. Good morning, Joanne. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. How are you? I'm good and I'm so happy to have you here because the John Taylor Babbitt Foundation is such a wonderful thing that you and your husband, Dave, started. Um, how many years ago now? 13. 13. And I'm not going to give away any of the spoilers. I'm going to let you tell the story. So tell us about the John Taylor Babbitt Foundation. Well, the John Taylor Babbitt Foundation came about as, unfortunately, the result of my 16-year-old son at the time playing basketball and suffering a sudden cardiac arrest. And unfortunately, the outcome was not positive. Needless to say, that really impacted so many people within our community. Really, the grief that we saw was just so you know, insurmountable for his age group as well as our family. So we decided that we really had a choice to make. We could either wallow in that grief or we could do something to try to make a difference. And we started the foundation um, dedicated to preventing sudden cardiac death. And a doctor from Tufts Medical Center at the time, Dr. Marty Marin, probably gave us the best advice in our life. And they said, you know what you two can do? You really can't do much in the way of the scientific research, but you do have the power to try to get automated external defibrillators, or what a lot of people know as AEDs, out there in places of public assembly. Because bottom line, they do save a life if used within the first couple of minutes or when someone suffers one of these events. What are some other ways that people can get involved? A lot of it, and it really depends on what's happening. Like recently in our state, there was a gentleman on New Jersey Transit in Penn Station that had a sudden cardiac arrest. And unfortunately, by the time medical assistance reached him, it was too late. So Assemblyman Benson, based out of Mercer and Middlesex County, just introduced a bill, which would require New Jersey Transit to have AEDs on all the trains. So another way to get involved is with the legislation. Um, you know, finding out what's out there. Quite often people will, you know, contact myself and I'll say, need your help testifying down in Trenton to make sure that we get laws in place. Uh, unfortunately, we do need laws. You would think that we wouldn't need them yeah. to make this happen. But, um, so if that's the case, then let's make sure that we get down there and we testify. I've used high school students in the past wow. for the Good Samaritan law and also for the law that was passed in 2015 requiring CPR, AED uh, to be part of the health curriculum in the state of New Jersey for every high school student. Yeah. And I didn't even realize that NJ Transit doesn't have AEDs at all, right? No, they're not required to. Wow. So we'll see what that happens. That's yeah. my next. That needs to be that, the next that's, target. That's, there you go. I mean, it's it's terrible terrible. To you and me, but they not. really should be in all buildings. Yeah. They should be like fire extinguishers. But the reality is, with sudden cardiac arrest, mm -hmm. time is the end. It's not like a heart attack. With a heart attack, um, you usually do have a wound. You're not feeling well for a couple days. Something aches. You're tired. Uh, sudden cardiac arrest, there is no warning. And quite often, you do not have the luxury of waiting for the EMT to arrive with an AED. So it's so important that these devices are accessible. Well, we're so thankful for all the work that you and your husband and your whole foundation are doing. And um, I want you now to tell us where we can find you online, on social media, how we can get involved and kind of keep in the know with everything you guys have going on within your organization. Well, we have a website, www.jtbfoundation.org, uh, on Twitter also at the JTBT. Facebook, John Taylor Babbitt Foundation, and Instagram, JTB underscore Foundation. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Joanne, for being Thank here with you. us. We appreciate it, and I appreciate you and everything that you're doing. So for more um, from Joanne and about the John Taylor Babbitt Foundation and everything Garden State, visit hipnewjersey.com. For more on this segment, log on to hipnewjersey.com.